So today we're checking out Nearly Dead Live and Let Die. Now this is a top-down zombie survival game with crafting and roguelike elements and I played it just a little bit just to make sure that it was everything that I thought it was and I like it a lot. I was actually looking for a zombie or horde survival game and uh, this one came up. I liked it a lot so far. So there's a few different game modes and difficulty levels that we can select from. I'm just going to create a single player lobby yes you can play multiplayer there's a few different characters that you can select from uh they all have different um type of shticks right um and different classes we've got the hunter a veterinarian a uh a, a, a reenactor <laughs> he's not a knight he actually just reenacts um, old medieval stuff, I guess. Uh, kind of like the Star Wars guys. Uh, special weapon, ammo, consumption rate. Well, so I got a backpacker. So I guess this is like a uh, survivalist. And we've got an expert. <laughs> so Jack has a hammer to start with and a bunch of different skills. You know, I kind of like the idea of Gregory, the reenactor. He's got a movement speed debuff, but he's getting some extra defense and extra medieval damage. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna react Braveheart or something. Uh, let's select this pole weapon training since he starts with a spear. That seems like a good idea. And uh, some of these are ally based if you have, you know, different people that you're actually playing with. Uh, number of empty trinkets, slots by 5%, a survival bag, melee damage 5% seems like a good pick. And I've got five or six, maybe we'll get some extra trade points as we go, or we can pick one of these three first aid boxes provided on starting or 400 resources. let's get the 400 resources and uh let's just start so we have a prepare for raid thing that's just blinking away right here telling us what we have to do we have a little uh oh my god i feel slow we have a bit of storage here for when we start gathering stuff up and we have a disassembly table when we get stuff that we could disassemble our weapon for instance uh, we also have a crafting table and as we get resources which we already have we can start to unlock all of these things and craft them but some days need to pass in order to get stronger and stronger stuff so right now we have a short spear which typically doesn't unlock until four days later and so that seems pretty good we can also unlock some ranged weapons here some accessories uh there's armor Let, actually let's do that let's let's equip the armor right away if we left click on that we equip it it goes into the top right slot and we should be pretty good for defense let's go ahead and prepare for the raid and we have day one night five enemies remaining so we can left click to do damage here and we're gonna stun a little bit and we could just kite yeah this seemed easy sauce man i mean easy sauce we can press space to uh to zoom a little bit it gives us some dashing and let's see can i no i i can't dash and attack at the same time <laughs> so um it is a little bit weird having the uh the health bar so close together but Gosh, the music is intense right now, man. <laughs> All right, so we got a trade point that we acquired, and we can get a few different things. So movement speed plus 20% would offset our uh, default movement restriction. We got increase the amount of resources acquired when exploring. Clean hit melee crit rate, dexterity, reload speed, or melee combat technique, melee attack power. I do like quick feet. Because this is going to allow me to move a little bit more. And we just got some resources. We'll pick those up. And now it says prepare to explore in day two. So what we can do right here is we can store things or use them. Getting cheese gave us max hit points 2%. Let's go ahead and use that. And we also got lime soda can. So we can kind of level up. We started out with 300 health and now we've got 315 and we get some experience points to level up and stuff. There's so many different things to take a look at here, but I think what we're going to do is go ahead and explore. So select a region to explore. Now, if we had multiple people, we could vote on this, but it says discoverable locations, quiet handicraft factory, discoverable locations, quiet cabin or quiet cabin. Um, or discoverable locations, random location, or face powerful enemies to progress to the next region. Let's, uh, I found the next uncrowded supermarket. Let's try that. Is this it? Uncrowded supermarket, yeah. So, 
Zombies rush at us and we immediately? We hit pretty hard though, man. We still haven't taken really any damage yet to, to kind of figure out how our inventory works. So some of these are going to drop some stuff, but for the most part, if we explore these little um, cabinets and pieces of furniture and stuff in the ruins, we can find supplies or blueprints or, or all sorts of stuff here. In the supermarket, I would think that we would find some pretty good stuff. Uh, let's see. Anything in here besides zombies? I don't see anything yet. Oh, item search. We found chocolate. Chocolate lets us get max hit points. So we're going to take a couple of those. There's a bunch of item search stuff to search here. Mineral waters. Energy recovery and hit point recovery. Nice. Cola gives us max HP. So I, I, I imagine that each night that passes, it's going to get more and more and more difficult. <laughs> Being that they keep on giving us max HP and uh, healing potions. Fried chicken. That's what I'm talking about. Damage 6%. Is that permanent? I guess it is. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. We do have access to the character sheet that we can see here. So let's see. Right now, our weapon damage is 121.26. Next time I get one of those things, I'll check it out. We can also hold shift to walk a little bit faster, like this. Okay, we got some bandages. That's also nice. Hit point recovery. I can't quite hit through there, but razor blades. Blade damage 10% and crit rate 10%. Um, let's see, 121. I didn't see that happen at all. Do we have any boosts that it gave us? Oh, I think it just gives us uh, the the ability, the, the pluses to technique and stuff. Huh. Okay, maybe. I'm not, I'm not really sure how that works, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go and hit this last guy up here. Or girl, or... I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> it's a zombie, okay? Disinfectant. HP recovery 250. Man, they are giving me a lot of healing items. Despite the difficulty not being really, really high yet, which is good. Hey! Okay, I was just talking smack about the difficulty level and they start throwing up on me. Nobody asked you to yak, bruh. A whip, you say. Damage 15. Um, not nearly as good, right? No, I have damage 86. It is a medieval weapon, though. What happens if I... Oh, the range is crazy, though. Well, can I... Oh, no. I thought I might have been able to attack that. I don't I don't know what you could do. Replace weapon to... No. Huh. Well, I do have slots for extra weapons, but we'll see how that works. Right now, the spear is pretty darn good, though, I gotta say. Got to say. Another razor blade. Okay. More colas, chips, and lime sodas. Let's consume all... Oh, wait. I'm pressing right mouse button instead of left. All right. Let's see here. We've got one guy. I wonder if we can hit through the wall. Let's let's try it. We can. Oh, dude. <laughs> if there's something really hard and you need to do that... I mean, this guy spits at us. So, it's probably best that we did that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. So I suppose the black area, yeah, we can't go in. It's not to progress to the next area or anything like that. I think we just attack everything in sight and search everything in sight. We got a baseball bat, 66 versus 86. A little bit of difference on attack speed and some crit rate difference and stuff. But for the most part, we just got a taco. Max hit points. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay. Maybe we could disassemble this bat and stuff. So now that we got all of that stuff, we can just leave. I suppose we came in the area that we left. Can we click that? Oh, it gives you the damage and all that stuff. Okay. So leave this location. So yeah, we can leave pretty much any time. And we have the like kind of like intermission between uh, the two deals. All right. So we can disassemble the baseball bat which would give us 20 of the crafting supplies, right? Let's go ahead and do that. 
the baseball, I mean, the, the razor blade, I'm going to keep. And also the whip. I'm going to keep both of those. Um, just in case we have to use it for a blade. Because how did the blade actually read? The blade read blade damage 10% and blade crit rate 10%. We don't necessarily have a blade. It's melee polearm. So this, for instance, is a blade. That's interesting. Okay. I think we just keep it as is for now. Ranged weapons, nothing unlocked yet. Accessories, nothing unlocked yet. We can get more armor, but right now we're doing okay with that. That's an accessory slot though. And we can't open any of them yet. We have to wait for three days. So I suppose we're doing okay right now. Maybe we should just put a few things in storage here. So I'm going to put one of these in storage. And I think I'm just going to keep the, the bottles on me because I can recover so much hit points with these. Hit point and energy recovery. Or should I just use the bandage? Ah, okay, I see. You know what? The bandages are probably good. Hit point recovery plus 60. We haven't left a whole lot of... So I'll, I'll get the big one just in case. But honestly, I think it'll be fine. Okay, so... Day two, enemies left six, night two. All right. Candy bar. Is that more... Um, oh, girl. Don't you swing at me like that, boo. We get resources from these guys as well. All right. And we have enemies left one. Max hit points four. Used it. Okay. Some of them move fast, dude. But this ranged weapon, it gives me a little bit of pierce. Kind of like a cleave. A fried egg. Dude, this <laughs> this guy over here is eating fried eggs as a zombie. And F. Chips. Max hit points. Okay, more max hit points. Enemies left. Why does it tell me how many enemies left? And then it just actually resets. I don't know how that works yet. That's okay, though. All right. So, enemies left. One... Um, that's kind of weird. It's like, it says that there was enemies left, but there's not. I don't know. Okay, um, we can get headshot for range crit. Uh, there's some classes that have rerolls, by the way. I think quick feet is really good right here because I don't want marksmanship. Melee crit would probably be pretty good too, I suppose. Yeah. Um, let's get, yeah, let's get clean hit. Let's get clean hit. And now... We can explore somewhere else. Okay, discoverable locations. Let's go to, yeah, uncrowded gun store. It's a green item. Oh, ah. <laughs> there was, yeah, there was a green um, description for that, which means maybe there's something really, really good that we could find here. Ouch. Oh, that was some crits. My crits are already paying off. Okay. Yeah, we can kind of use the side of the building as a, a, a little bit of protection here. Okay. Let's see what's here. Anything worth looting? No. Okay. I do a little bit of knockback with my attacks, too. A machine pistol, you say? Huh. Well, we gotta try it at least, right? Even though we're melee god. Oh, look at us. We got, like, the little... Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Bone hand axe. Hold up. Uh... 106 damage it's melee or throwing and it's also considered a heavy weapon oh we can use that too oh oh so okay if i right click what happens nothing nothing um i was thinking that i wouldn't have to throw them that's pretty good though that is pretty good some of these uh, zombies have wings. What's up with the winged zombies, man? They didn't even see me, bro. Okay, let's grab anything from here. No. 
There's a couple zombies that we kind of forgot outside. A revolver. Oh, they come just straight through. I thought that was a wall, bro. Ah, straight up thought that was a wall. That's a wall. This is a door. Okay. I see now. I see. But was there anything in any of these? No. Item search, hunting rifle, pump shotgun, and a submachine gun. So this is a machine pistol for 50. This does 48. Ammo count is 20. Man. <laughs> I think I like what I have right now, though. But let's eat a few things. Um, I don't need to recover any HP. Am I missing anything at all here? I don't think so. So I wonder what the green lettering was uh, for this this place. Maybe it was because there was some premium loot. I did find some really, really good loot here. Anything up here that I forgot about? No. All right. Well, in case there's anything different, I'm just going to go toward the back and the left here just to make sure. It doesn't look like we could do we can get around there I'm just gonna go into the darkness but this looks like walls okay yeah nothing that we can do here so we're gonna skedaddle could check that trash can just in case I think I already checked it though all right let's get out of here leave this location so now we got a we got a whole bunch of stuff man um, let's go to disassemble and we'll disassemble this this shotgun. How about that? Oh wait, did I disassemble everything except man? <laughs> Whoops! I disassembled everything by accident. It's okay though. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Uh, we wanna this is uh, we wanna move something. Let's see. Let's move that out. And we'll keep the SMG for now, okay? Just in case we need it. Crafting. Ranged weapon. Okay, some of the, the same stuff that we could craft all along. Accessory now. We still need two days for an accessory? Hmm. Barbed arrows, parachute cords. All this stuff, it, it's crazy, man. It just gives you a bunch of different stats. Um, so, let's go for the night. And just see what's going on here. Yeah, so far so good. I might get another um, one of these points. Oh man, we can we can really really massacre these guys now, which is awesome. Yeah, our max health is at 459 right now, which is pretty good. Armor is taking a little bit of a beating, but we still have so much. Mineral water? A lot of that stuff. A lot of that stuff. Okay, more enemies. Whoa, no you don't. Boy, they start swarming after a little while, huh? I mean, we haven't really even used healing items yet, so I don't think we have anything to worry about. Okay, we can do melee combat technique, marksmanship training, extra accessory space. That would be awesome if we actually had accessories. More bag space, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, and we have even more points now. Headshot, long range shot, vitality, max HP. Yeah, let's do max HP. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Okay, we got 632. I think it's appropriate that we use uh, something for healing now. Recover 60 health. This is it's kind of a waste, but we'll use it. There we go. Now we're full. Okay. Well, now we can explore again. Shall we go for the Vanquish a Dangerous Location? Face powerful enemies to progress to the next region. I think we do it. See, they have these green locations, and I'm not sure. They have like a little star or whatever, but we're going to try that, guys. We're going to try to vanquish, vanquish a dangerous location. So far, so good. 
<laughs> the music is so grungy. I love it. Okay, getting this cheese. Lots of resources, too, which is good. So far, the only danger is the number of enemies here. Oh, wait, though. Them dudes have guns and weapons. I see. Okay. Hey, you know what, though? We got something for, we got something for you, bruh. Get wrecked, dude. <laughs> you got to kind of watch reloads. But other than that, it's pretty it's pretty darn good, man. Oh. Hold on. Got to switch. Wait. <laughs> One. Give me my uh my spear back. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was pressing all kind of buttons trying to get it, man. Okay. Man, that's a lot of uh a lot of resources here. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, Spear still hits super hard. Oh, yeah, these dudes do have guns, man. Wow. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I take it all back. Retreat. Retreat. <laughs> um, we're out of healing stuff, too. Can we just leave here if we if we need to? Hold up, let's. Oh my God! No, nope. no, 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 no! Run, <laughs> run! I tell you. Oh, we can't run. We can't run. <laughs> we can't run, man. Oh. This isn't a place that you can escape. Well, one thing's for certain, we weren't nearly ready for this place. Not even close. But we did get some uh, some currency, like some gold. So when you go to end game, we've gotten a little bit of gold here. And if you press upgrade, you have the ability to unlock some stuff, okay? So like, for instance, you can unlock this shovel right here, um, which is a pole weapon. And it's a lot better than the starting spear and stuff, right? And you can go on these, uh, these like, upgrade trees. So if we wanted to continue using the spear guy, for instance, we could probably unlock this pitchfork, then the short spear, then the halberd, then the glaive, then a pike, pile spear, and then a long chainsaw, scythe, electric zombie swatter. So many different ways to go right here. Um... So let's, let's see, we have the hammer unlocked already, right? Oh no, this is the hammer two? I see, I see, okay, so it's a one star, enhanced, 24 gold. Now we have, oh, the hammer two star? Wait, open slot, attribute can be carried? I see, so this is Number of available slots, one. Open slot. I don't understand how we get in these slots though. Enhance 24 or reroll 20. Damage reduction or crit damage. So we can reroll, oh. Very nice. So now it's like three stars? It's considered a heavy weapon here. And we can even unlock crowbar if we had any more. But right now, we used all of it for the hammer. So going back into the game, if we go to new game and then create a single lobby and we Zuljin starts or Jack starts with the hammer here. And then we can do like, uh, let's see, melee mobility or damage. I do like that. Starting trade points. Uh, let's see here. Maybe we should go for melee mobility and defense. How about that? That looks pretty good to start with. And now we have the enhanced hammer. Am I, am I right? Is it enhanced or is it not? Let's just check out, not storage, 
crafting the hammer. So that's 45, 2, 2, and 2. Yeah, 70, 70. I wish it would give you both side by side. Damage reduction 8%, crit damage 150, and damage reduction 8%. Yo, those are the three attributes that I unlock. So I have that already on my hammer. So starting out with the weapon, it's a lot stronger than it was. And if we just go to the first knight here, let's see how good it is. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, this thing swings fast and it does a lot of damage. Also, I can tank a little bit of damage with that too. Pretty interesting game, right? I think it's pretty cool. Like you could get into some crazy wacky builds and you can unlock a bunch of stuff to where the further you go, the zanier the the builds get, I guess. <laughs> like you could you could start unlocking a bunch of stuff and change up the playstyle, do some melee runs or some ranged runs and as I, I don't know exactly if there was any extra or boss enemies in that area that we went to, but definitely a lot of potential in this game. I like it so far. I hope you guys did too. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.